YouTube. How y'all doing? Well, looky here. Here's some information uh, that needs to be dug in by all of us and all us researchers. It has something to do with everything that's been going on. Our internet changing, uh, Google changing, everything that's going on this needs to be looked into. North of 49 made this video and she got permission from another guy that originated actually looked into this more so than I have so far. The more I dig the more I find. Um, here is a 96 page PDF right here. Uh, on it and there is more. Uh, of course you all know I want us to abolish this. It needs to be. I gave you a copy of that. Here's some more information on that. Now, as you see right here, this was a P this was a PDF too, okay? It does not work on my blog. Don't know why. But here on this photo, if you right click, open in a new tab, or click on the photo, it'll take you strictly. Yeah. And this is a hundred page uh, PDF as well. Okay. Now going back here, that's just one. Now here is another page and it has more information from December 14, 2011. They've been working on this quite a while, folks. So um, you can click on that link. I did it in another window. It takes you over to this page. And it's very long, OK? The only reason why they put it on the blog is because it kept giving me errors. I don't want all this information in one spot. Don't know why. And here is another one. It's another very long page. This should be a PDF, but it's not. You click on the page, photo, this is a photo. You click on the photo, it'll take you to a page, or you can click on the link itself. We're going to click on the link. You can't see the page, only part of it, because I'm not only showing, not showing it's on the left hand side of the screen, okay? But as you can see, how I, at the top it's showing the left hand side of the screen. It's all on one left side of the screen, okay? It's done in a, a PDF reader and then somehow they uploaded it to uh, a web page like you see here. So folks, let's all dig into this. Do some very serious deep research. Uh, from what I'm reading from this and getting from this and this PDF and this PDF and this one things ain't lurking too frisky for any of your rights and this is all the New World Order game plan, it looks like to me. But it's up to y'all. Help out. Much love. Listen to the PDF being read, one part of the PDF, one page. This is why we need to abolish the Act 1871. Much love, guys. Today, 13 November 2013, WikiLeaks released the secret negotiated draft text for the entire TPP Trans-Pacific Partnership Intellectual Property Rights Chapter. The TPP is the largest ever economic treaty, encompassing nations representing more than 40% of the world's GDP. The WikiLeaks release of the text comes ahead of the decisive TPP Chief Negotiator Summit in Salt Lake City, Utah on 19-24 November 2013.
The chapter published by WikiLeaks is perhaps the most controversial chapter of the TPP due to its wide-ranging effects on medicines, publishers, internet services, civil liberties and biological patents. Significantly, the release text includes the negotiation positions and disagreements between all 12 prospective member states. The TPP is the forerunner to the equally sequitous EU PAC TTIP Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, for which President Obama initiated us EU negotiations in January 2013. Together, the TPP and TTIP will cover more than 60% of global GDP. Both PACs exclude China. Since the beginning of the TPP negotiations, the process of drafting and negotiating the treaty's chapters has been shrouded in an unprecedented level of secrecy. Access to drafts of the TPP chapters is shielded from the general public. Members of the United States Congress are only able to view selected portions of treaty-related documents in highly restrictive conditions and under strict supervision. It has been previously revealed that only three individuals in each TPP nation have access to the full text of the agreement, while 600 trade advisors lobbyists guarding the interests of large though United States corporations such as Chevron, Halliburton, Monsanto and Walmart are granted privileged access to crucial sections of the treaty text. The TPP negotiations are currently at a critical stage. The Obama administration is preparing to fast-track the TPP treaty in a manner that will prevent the United States Congress from discussing or amending any parts of the treaty. Numerous TPP heads of state and senior government figures, including President Obama, have declared their intention to sign and ratify the TPP before the end of 2013. WikiLeaks editor-in-chief Julian Assange stated, that the United States administration is aggressively pushing the TPP through the United States legislative process on the sly. The advanced draft of the Intellectual Property Rights Chapter, published by WikiLeaks on 13 November 2013, provides the public with the fullest opportunity so far to familiarize themselves with the details and implications of the TPP. The 95-page 30,000-word chapter lays out provisions for instituting a far-reaching, transnational legal and enforcement regime, modifying or replacing existing laws in TPP member states. The chapter's subsections included agreements relating to patents who may produce goods or drugs, copyright who may transmit information, trademarks, who may describe information or goods, as authentic and industrial design. The longest section of the chapter enforcement is devoted to detailing new policing measures, with far-reaching implications for individual rights, civil liberties, publishers, internet service providers and internet privacy, as well as for the creative, intellectual, biological and environmental commons. Particular measures proposed include supranational litigation tribunals, to which sovereign national courts are expected to defer, but which have no human rights safeguards. The TPP IP chapter states that these courts can conduct hearings with secret evidence. The IP chapter also replicates many of the surveillance and enforcement provisions from the shelved SOPA and ACTA treaties. The consolidated text obtained by WikiLeaks after the 26-30 August 2013 TPP meeting in Brunei and like any other TPP-related documents previously released to the public contains annotations detailing each country's positions on the issues under negotiation. Julian Assange emphasizes that a cringingly obsequious Australia is the nation most likely to support the hardline position of the United States negotiators against other countries while states including Vietnam, Chile and Malaysia are more likely to be in opposition. Numerous key Pacific Rim and nearby nations including Argentina, Ecuador, Colombia, South Korea, Indonesia, the Philippines and, most significantly, Russia and China have not been involved in the drafting of the treaty. In the words of WikiLeaks editor-in-chief Julian Assange, if instituted, the TPP's IT regime would trample over individual rights and free expression, as well as ride roughshod over the intellectual and creative commons. If you read, write, publish, think, listen, dance, sing or invent, if you farm or consume food, if you're ill now or might one day be ill, the TPP has you in its crosshairs. 
Carrot TPP negotiation member states are the United States, Japan, Mexico, Canada, Australia, Malaysia, Chile, Singapore, Peru, Vietnam, New Zealand and Brunei.